Elisha akawa anapitia pale. Huyu mama akamkaribisha akamwambia jo kule mkate. Akaingia pale. Elisha alipokula baadaye akasema mama pata mtoto wako. Akapata mtoto. Anaweza patikana kwa malaya. Malaya tu. Malaya a sinful woman. A sinful woman mwanamke malaya mbaya ile sana. Sinful life yake ilikuwa sinful. Alipoenda kule kwa Simon. Simon alikuwa amealika Yesu Kristo kula chakula. Hui mama akaja hapa. Watu wenye machozi mtamuona Mungu. Watu ambao wana machozi. Hata iwake moto hii. Hata iwake mara kumi. Hatuwezi kuwaza na basi moja. I'm telling you. Basi huyu mama akasikia Yesu yuko hapo. Akaja na mafuta yake. Akawa anamiminia Yesu. Simon akasema, "Huyu agejua huyu mwanamke ni takataka. Asike kubali aguzwe." Yesu akaangalia Simon. Kamwambia Simon, "Nilikuja kwa nyumba yako hii na huku nipatia maji." Huyu mama ameisha ame tagu niigia na niosha ananiosha tu na, na machozi yake. Na tagu nimekuja uja nipatia mafuta. Uja ni busu. Huyu mama amenibusu. Akasema, "Mama, dhambi zako umesamehewa." Simon akabaki hivyo. Arrogant people. Watu wabao wana kiburi. Unasema ati e, iki, buge ikitegeneza, karona ikiisha, mutategeneza sheria ya kusema wahubiri wale hawana digiri. Mara munasema tunakula sadaka. Saa tunakula nini? Tutakula nini? Nanya mekwabia hivyo? The preachers are meeting on Sunday to, to, to gather the, 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 the tide. Your season will end. Somebody will come and clear all that you left behind. Uh, niko hapa kwa sababu nataka kutafuta Mungu niweze kujua vile Mungu anataka na watumishi wa Bwana niwaambie tu this is our very hard time, hard season. Wiki jao tutakuwa na maombi. It's a very hard season kwa sababu uh, all those things are happening lazima tuwe tukisikia vile Mungu anasema every day. Tuwe na ujumbe wa Mungu apart from maandiko. Mandiko inaweza kutokea unaweza kurudia maandiko ya Isaia, maandiko ya Luka, maandiko ya Mariko. Lakini message of the day Mungu ameniambia I have given you all that you wanted. But no one have come back to say thanks. Umwambie Mungu asante. Kama una watoto kama hauna, as long as una breathe, hata kama uko hospitali, hata kama uko hospitali, hiyo pumzi imebaki. Last mwambie Bwana thank you Lord. Thank you for the day I have lived here. Thank you kwa vitu nimeona na macho. Asante kwa vitu nimewahi kusikia. Asante kwa mabenki. Hata kama sija pesa kwa pesa benki. Asante kwa mabenki. Asante kwa airport. Asante kwa ndege hata kama sija naenda na ndege, mwanangu anaweza akaenda na ndege. Nataka kusema hivi, always I hear cry asking for my blessing. That is only what is in your heart. Mungu akaniambia anasikia watu watu wakimwambia nipe hii nipe hii nipe hii baraka zake lakini anasema hiyo tu ndio iko ndani ya moyo sasa ya tatu ndio nimalizie i will shut down all sources of your income but my people will remain saved by my power amesema atafunga jia zote zile za kupata jia zote zile za income yako i will shut down all the sources of your income but my people will be saved by my power. The men and the women of God. This is not time for you to panic. As long as you have God with you, there is what we call grace of God. Grace, haki inaweza kuisha. Lakini neema ya mungu ikaliko. Neema ni gani? Mama moja amineletea kuku hamsini. Hizo nasikia zikiri ya. Fifty. Ni waka jiada. Akasema sauti ni mwambia, utumishu wangu yuko kajiada jangwani huko mperekea chakula. 50 guku hamsini. Nimesema ni kuoneshe tu kwa sababu ume, nimetaja. Hii diyo naitua Grace. Unaona kuku? Unaona kuku? Kuku ni hizi. Hizo ni kuku. Kuku. Kuku nimekuonesha 
ndio ujue what we call by the grace of god by the grace of god akatoka all the way mpaka jiado akaja na kuku zake 50 pieces na pick up yake na akanipa na shilingi 15 1015 on top of that akaniambia Mungu amemwambia mtumishi wangu yuko kule ampelekee chakula sasa nimesema hivyo na nikakuonesha hizo kuku ndio hii maandiko iwe kwako but my people will be saved by my power watu wa Mungu wataokolewa na neema ya Mungu Mungu awabariki na wana watu wa vyombo wamemaliza sasa ninaenda kuanza live god bless you god bless you thank you